The nation's truck drivers sought to unleash new protests over higher fuel prices and lower speed limits Thursday, with thousands of truckers urged to pull into truck stops such as this one and turn their engines off. Truck traffic was noticeably light in some states. In Dallas, however, the protest effort was met by mixed reactions from truckers. I'm going to join in the protest Thursday and Friday, and uh, I'll shut my truck down and park it. It's a protest against the increase in the price of the fuel, the uh, amount that you get, and the uh, rates of the freight. The freight rates have stayed the same, and yet operating costs are skyrocketing. Are you going to join in the strike today? Uh, no, I don't believe so. Uh, I can't afford to. I got to keep rolling. Even at the lower speeds and the higher fuel costs? Yeah. Are you still making money at that? Well, uh, I don't know. Uh, I seem to be, but these drivers that's making, being paid by the mile, I don't see how they can make any money. How are you being paid? I'm being paid percentage-wise. The idea of the lower speeds is you just use more fuel to go to the same distance because your engine is running the same amount of RPMs, using the same amount of fuel no matter what speed you go. So you're just going there in a longer length of time. So you're using more fuel. I believe if everybody would just would quit, I believe it, I believe something would happen. I don't know. I don't know what. I mean, I believe it'd get better. But uh, there's a few of us. It's not going. It's not going to do any good. What's happening here this morning? Well, not much that I can see. I've been hearing. You know, I've been seeing a lot of trucks come in with these big signs on them. All trucks stopped on the 13th and 14th. And I haven't seen much of any action as far as any kind of strike or shutdowns coming on because most of them's coming in fueling and going on out. I was able to purchase 60 gallons today at this stop. Some stops, it's only 30, 25, and it really doesn't pay to pull off a freeway to get 25 gallons of fuel. And, uh, are you going to be driving today or during this two-day protest? Well, I'm going up and load up today. What are you going to do after that? Well, I'm coming back down here and park, I guess, tomorrow. What are you going to do tomorrow in the morning? Are you going to drive? Well, I don't know. I'll wait till tomorrow morning and say. I don't well, know if I'll unload tomorrow or not. What will make your uh, final determination on that? Well, I don't know what the other guys do down there. Keep my truck tore up. I don't want it tore up. Are you afraid that might happen? It could have happened. Has it happened before? No, not to me. I know the other guys' trucks been tore up. The energy crisis has a vast potential for confrontation, as these long-haul truck drivers are demonstrating in dramatic fashion. The truckers who stopped traffic on the Ohio and Pennsylvania interstate highways last week made their point. This two-day effort at a coast-to-coast -coast stoppage is just another part of that protest, and truck drivers threaten more action during the upcoming holidays unless things start shaping up for them.